The Teach for Nigeria 2020 Virtual Graduation of Fellows is a pioneer event that will mark the end of the two-year intensive fellowship and transition into a whole life commitment to changing the educational status quo of the country to ensure all children attain the education they need to thrive and deserve. Teach for Nigeria, headed by CEO Folawe Umukule, is a pace-setting non-profit organization that is pushing boundaries in the sector. The organization's strategy is one of recruiting from amongst Nigeria's most promising future leaders from various disciplines to teach in Nigeria's underserved, low-income communities. The two-year fellowship that leads to the graduation phase, which is set to hold today, August 22nd, in collaboration with PLOS TV Africa. And we're joined in the studio by CEO Teach for Nigeria, Folawe Omukule. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right, so how did you come to be involved in this program, Teach for Nigeria? So for me, it was a personal experience. And um, my journey, my professional journey has always been in the education space. And I'd worked in this space, but recognizing the challenges and issues facing education. And all of the solutions and, um, and innovations that people came up with were things that were only touching on the surface. There wasn't really any... Um, deliberate um, solution that was looking at the deeply rooted issues. And so, for example, I was part of projects that were providing books to schools that didn't have the resources, projects about, around painting schools, you know, very short-term um, fixes and quick fixes. And then I heard about Teach for Nigeria, and I heard about its vision, and I heard about the approach as to how do we bring in as many diverse groups, leaders, you know, individuals as possible into a movement to understand what the different issues are and then have these people providing solutions across the ecosystem so that's how I you know I just knew that it was like a no-brainer for me I just knew that this was the sort of solution that I wanted to be part of mm. you just mentioned the vision of teach for Nigeria mm. and how you keyed into it mm. let's talk about how that vision has evolved over time so you know um, it's interesting because someone asked me some a, a similar question recently and I said the vision hasn't changed the vision that one day every Nigerian child will have access to quality and excellence education has not changed. If there's anything that has changed or anything that has evolved for us now, it's the attitude to that vision, to achieving that vision. It's the fact that we recognize that we need to accelerate our effort towards achieving that vision. It's the fact that we need to double our effort towards achieving that vision. So that vision hasn't changed. Hmm. Let's talk a bit about educational deficits. Mm. Why do you think that is in this country? So one of the things that I've, rec that I've recognized and that I've learned is that to really, I mean, the issues in education are, are enormous. Um, we have issues around the infrastructure issues. We have issues around the quality of teaching and quality of teachers. We have issues around the availability of learning resources and teaching resources. We have issues around policies. We have issues around the curriculum. We have issues around funding. We have issues around, you know, but when you look at it, at the core of every issue or every challenge in education is leadership, is a leadership deficit and a leadership gap. And so, you know, there's no single solution to it. There's no silver bullet to solving the issues facing education. But what I know is that a problem that is as complex and as systemic as that of education requires many leaders across diverse ecosystem, diverse backgrounds, working in the same ecosystem to solve the issues. So we need to get to a place where we can overwhelm the education ecosystem, with the right leaders who are working at the policy level, with the right leaders, head teachers who are working at the school system level, with the right um, trainers who are working at the institutions, training our teachers and equipping our teachers, and also with the right um, um, private sector individuals, entrepreneurs who are coming up with solutions and innovations to address the issues. So my own understanding of it is it's a complex issue, it is systemic, but it is one that requires dynamic efforts of leaders working across the ecosystem to solve these issues. Hmm. So you've gotten people who are interested and passionate about education. Yes. You put them through a two-year fellowship mm. and they're graduating today. Mm. So what does this signify for yes. the fellows and where do they go from here? So before I go to the fellows, I'll first of all say in 2017 when Teach for Nigeria the Teach for Nigeria journey started and when the fellowship program started, several people said this would never work in Nigeria. You're not going to find young Nigerians who are going to commit two years of their lives to teach in high need schools in underserved communities. And so for me first, it's, I want to say it is possible. I want to say Nigerians, young Nigerians are tired of the narrative 
Nigerians, young Nigerians want to contribute to the solutions that will help for us to transform our education system. That's one. To the fellows, I think it's an experience where they've gone and they've experienced true inequities of their children. I talk to some of them and they tell me while I was teaching in the classroom, this is what I found to be the problem. This is, these are the challenges. So they've gone through an experience that has completely transformed their lives, that has shaped their mindset and their attitude you know, to, and perception of how they see things. Some of them right now are already starting, they've come up with solutions to address you know, the, teach, the teaching quality gap, they're training teachers. Some of them have started um, in, innovations around building um, ICT labs in the schools and building extracurricular, starting extracurricular clubs you know, for the schools that they've been working in, diverse innovations, financial literacy for parents, you know, equipping parents and empowering them so that they can provide for their kids. So they now understand the problems. They fully get it. And they also have a sense of ownership and commitment to really solving it even beyond this two-year fellowship. So these guys are leaving charged. They're living, feeling like advocates and change agents that need to continue contributing to this wider ecosystem. So from the fellowship, they're going to work as teachers or? So um, some, a number of them are going on to work as teachers. A number of them are going on to work as social entrepreneurs. Some of them have started all kinds of in, in innovations and, 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 um, and initiatives, you know, addressing some of the root challenges, you know, facing educational inequity. Some of them are going on to do a master's program in educational development. Some of them are interested interested in pursuing a career in, you know, directly in policy. They want to be part of, you know, policy making and driving such um, key policies. So some of them are looking for opportunities to work in the ministries of education and other agencies that are relevant, you know, to the um, education system. So it's very, some of them are hoping that they can remain in some of the public schools and continue teaching, you know, so very diverse group and very diverse um, ways that they want to continue contributing, you hmm. know, to the ecosystem. Now, how about the future of this initiative? What's the future like for, for, for Teach for Nigeria? So what, when, I, when I'm asked this question, I say to people, in 10 years, 10 years from now, I imagine in Nigeria, or imagine the future where the alumni of Teach for Nigeria are operating at different levels of the society. I'm imagining social entrepreneurs who are setting up schools, who are working in partnership with government, who are working in partnership with communities, with parents, to find ways to successfully ensure that our kids are learning and are thriving. I'm imagining where our fellows, or our alumni rather, are taking leadership positions in school system, whether as head teachers, as deputy head teachers, principals, I'm imagining where some of them are going for, you know, political offices and they're going there and transforming and changing um, um, policies and influencing policies. I'm imagining them working at the various ministries of education, starting their own non-profit initiatives and, and, and NGOs. And so that's what I imagine. So imagine such movement, but with a very collaborative and collective effort where all of these individuals across the nation, you know, aligned in their thinking, thinking about the same vision for all of Nigeria's children. Mm. So 10 years from now, I just imagine them, you know, across all of these different sectors still impacting the ecosystem. Mm. And Nigerians can join into the live graduation program at 4 p.m. today. Yes, I'm truly excited, really thrilled, you know, a bit anxious, but I'm really excited. It's the first time that we're doing the graduation virtually. And so I'm excited and, and I'm inviting everyone to join and come and celebrate this amazing change agents with us. Hmm. Falawe, thank you so much for joining us to talk about education. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me.